Hi all, this is Mike here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you actually revert the Nexus 5. Nexus 5, uh, back to stock Google factory image. I mean, it's good for those that are not using it, not using this phone as a daily driver and they just want to keep it for your collection. So it's good if you can actually flash it to stock Google uh, factory image so that this thing, it's in the, uh, like I said, stock condition as your collection itself so um, without further ado let's get on with it okay so after you have enabled USB debugging what you need to do next is just to connect your phone to the computer itself then uh, after that what you can do the first thing that we need to do is to actually flash custom recovery so that we can actually do the uh, flashing of the lineage OS itself so um, so next thing we need to do is to check whether the device is connected so uh, we will do a uh, ADB devices. So they will start the daemon, and there should be a uh, allow USB debugging. If you see unauthorized, there should be a allow USB debugging screen pop up on your phone itself. So what you need to do is just to click, uh, press on always allowed, and press OK. Then you do ADB devices again and your device should be connected now so once the device is connected okay so next thing we need to do is to do a, a bootloader rebooting so what we do is adb reboot boot loader to boot the phone into fast boot mode so, you so once you do that you'll be booted into fast boot mode okay so once you have your um, device connected to your pc <clears throat> then you can actually check whether the device is connected. You can boot fast boot devices to ensure the device is connected. So once the device is connected, the next thing you can do is to actually make sure that you extract out the stock ROM zip files into a folder so we can do a flash all top bat in order to revert the Nexus 5 back to the stock factory image. So what you can do now is to navigate to that folder. If you take a look at it now we have the hammerhead so cd hammerhead and dir slash w as you can see now there is the flash all drop pad so what you can do now is to ensure that you are connected so you do a fast boot devices so it's connected so next thing you can do is do a fast boot flash the fast the fast no, i'm sorry so next thing you can do is do a flash all drop pad So this will basically revert your phone back to stock factory settings. You can see now the flash is completed. So we'll move on to the phone to check out the phone um, for the first boot up. Let's get on with it. As you can see now the phone is uh, rebooting after the first flash. In fact, swap a pre image, so it will take a while. We will just need to wait for it to complete. Okay, so the um, device has finished boot up to start ROM, so what we can do is just to do a next. Uh, skip. Skip. Skip anyway. Next. Next. Just uncheck all these boxes. Next. Okay, so this is your stock ROM. See now, uh, it's quite clean and stuff, uh, but they, they does have photos and Gmails and stuff. So, um, this is how you actually revert your Nexus 5, the stock ROM itself. So, if you are looking at um, getting this phone, then um, it's good to do that for you to revert it back to stock ROM. But if you really want to use this phone, I would recommend you go for the uh, Lineage OS as it has latest security patches and um, and latest ROM itself, I think Android Nougat so it's better for you to uh, keep up to date of all the security patches if you are on to using this phone as a, as a daily driver so I have another video on that so please stay tuned and please uh, you can follow actually that video uh, to show you how you actually flash the Lineage OS using this uh, Nexus 5 itself so that's all I have for today guys um, so 
if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel for any future updates and that's all for today bye